Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to do NEMA motor with the L298 in model. Make the one step at a time, seven step this side, nine step other side. Let's get started with this. I'm using this stepper motor and the label is here. And I am using this module and the other side is like this. The wiring connection is here, microcontroller to the module, this side. And uh, the motor is connected like this. The wiring diagram is here. We zoom in. These two jumpers keep it on. And the wires from A3 to A6 go straight like this. From the motor, two wires from the same coil go this side. Another two wires from the same coil go to the other side. And this one 12 volt and this one ground. And the ground goes to this ground also. It's very important. We have to connect the same coil to the same connected set of connectors. To find out how what is the same coil, if it works like this. If you put same coil to LED, it will work. And if you put same coil to the LED, it will work. If you put different coils to the LED, it will not work. Let's try and see. Now I connected red and blue to the LED. And uh, rotate and see. It's blinking. Now I connected to green and black. And see. It is working. Now I connected to red and black. It's not working, so it's in a different coil. As for the data sheet, I could not find the exact data sheet for my motor. I'm using this one. I give this one in the description below. Uh, this is also NEMA 17. Um, the stepping sequence is like this. This is the way they ask. They, there are only four steps in this way. This is how I programmed. Uh, I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's start a new file, new, new project, file new, STM32 project. The commercial part number put F103C8. This one. Next, A file name Nima. Click system core, sys debug serial wire, uh, also RCC, uh, crystal ceramic resonator, and we change the clock speed to 72. Enter. Uh, pin out on configuration. You go to timers. We use timer 2 for the microsecond delay. Uh, clock source, internal clock. Uh, configuration parameter setting uh, prescaler 71 that is 72 minus 1 and this one counter period we make it 65535 now we zoom in and we make these four pins as gpio output pa32 pa6 This four pin P GP output and uh, we can save now. Generate code yes. For the simply for simplicity, I have given the code in my website. Uh, link is in the description below. This is the one. And we go below. Uh, diagram Q body setting is here. Uh, code is here. In the user code zero we copy from here until user code N0 and N0 copy from here to here and then go to cube IDE and user code 0 is here we paste it and uh, in the user code 2 we copy these two lines paste it in 2 the 
while loop we copy from motor on until here paste it here now we can save we start the timer for the microsecond and the step number is 1 the step number I have in the top in the user code 0 uh, the step number is the current which step is current one it remembers uh, uh, these are the pins pin PA4 TA3456 you can change it if you want mm, this is the motor delay if it is uh, less than 6000 we use the microsecond otherwise we use the millisecond delay a normal hull delay um, we use the motor on and off the motor off is here so why I use motor off is uh, in the idle time the motor spends current it takes the current and it heat up the heat sink of the L298 uh, module it heat up too much that's why I off it whenever we, I don't need it if I if you don't need the torque idle torque for the motor it's better to off it and then we own it whenever we need it this is the way we own it we remember the we take the step number according to the step number we set the correct uh, pins there are only four steps here one two three four steps and uh, clockwise also like this uh, it takes the step number it go to next step four steps it goes to next step and counterclockwise step it takes the step and it goes to previous step so there are three previous steps and in the while loop uh, it's 200 step is full one revolution it's 150 uh, rpm uh, and then we off it and then it's a half revolution 100 step half revolution and we off it with 150 rpm and then we go very very slowly 0 0.0 rpm 7 step one side and uh, 0 0.5 rpm 9 step we can see the steps and then here what I do, do is uh, I go with 30 rpm and I calculated this steps for uh, 15 seconds I make sure 15 seconds I, I measure the time and make sure it's correct now we can upload the code it's done I have uploaded the code let's power it on exactly seven steps exactly nine steps now it's going to make uh, 1500 revolution uh, you can measure the time it will be exactly 15 minutes thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye